sell it, store it, or use it. These are the three basic options you have when it comes to what to do with excess solar electricity. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you different ways that you can manage excess solar electricity and how you can get the best payback as a system owner. Okay, so in today's video, we're talking about what to do with excess solar power. And basically, you can use it, you can sell it, or you can store it. Now, first off, before we choose which of these options might make the, the most sense for you, the first thing we want to start with is what is your goal with installing a solar and battery storage system? Uh, is the goal to be as, as self-sufficient, as energy independent as possible? In other words, you want energy security? Uh, or is the goal to get the best dollar for dollar payback on the system? And I think that the reason I pose that question first is because a lot of times those two goals are going to be opposed to one another and really will inform which of these options that you choose in terms of how to manage your excess solar power. Do we, we use it? Do we store it? Do we sell it? Okay, now for those of you whose goal is to get the best return on investment on the solar system, typically you're going to get the best payback dollar for dollar by selling your excess solar to the power company via a solar buyback program or a net metering program. Now, when we talk about a net metering program, what we mean is that essentially your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, you can directly power your home using solar panels, and then all of the excess solar electricity can get sold back or sent back to the power company for full credit. So whatever excess kilowatt hour production you have during daylight hours would be credits on your account which would then allow you to, during evening hours, pull back in the kilowatt hours of energy that you need from the power company using those credits that you've already built up. Uh, and that works the best if you have a true one-for-one -one net metering program. That's gonna get you the best dollar-for-dollar -dollar return on investment because you, you don't have to incur the extra cost of purchasing your own storage batteries. Now, the downside though is that what we're seeing, the trend now is going away from true one-for-one -one solar buyback programs. Now, this is being led by California and the new NEM3, so-called net metering 3.0, which basically means that the power company will buy back your solar, but they're not gonna give you full price credit. In fact, based on the numbers in California, you now have to send the power company four kilowatt hours of electricity for every one that you get to pull back in. So in this case, it doesn't really do you very well financially to sell your excess solar electricity. In fact, you'd be better off storing it and then self-consuming it. And so that's the second option is to install battery storage with your solar power system so that instead of having to send excess solar electricity back to the power company and only getting credit at this super discounted rate for it, instead just use your excess solar energy to charge into a battery or a bank of batteries. So basically it's like, it's like a fuel tank. You have this energy reserve so that during evening hours, instead of having to pull from the power company, you just pull from energy that you banked in your batteries. And so if you have enough battery storage, you can get through the entire night consuming off the battery, keeping electricity on in your home. And then the next day the solar panels take over and then they recharge the battery. And you, you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need uh, if the system is designed properly. So that's one way you can use these batteries to maximize self-consumption so that in this case, basically the power company becomes the electric provider of last resort. You're not necessarily banking on having to buy and sell back and forth with them. They just become the electric provider of last resort. You run off solar first, you run off your batteries second, and then only if the batteries are draining down too low and you need to pull more energy in while it's nighttime, only then will you just tap into the utility and get what you need from there. By the way, post a comment below if you have a solar power system and you're planning on adding battery storage to it this year. Now, the third thing you can do is change your behavior so that you can maximize direct utilization of your excess solar power. And we do this basically by, by load shifting. So what I'm talking about here are things like when you cook your food, uh, if you have an electric vehicle, when you charge your electric vehicle, if you can, can control when you can do house cleaning or, or when you can do the laundry and run the laundry machine and the dryer. By shifting those high consumption activities, to daylight hours when your solar is in peak production, 
This is another way that you can maximize direct utilization of your excess solar electricity. So you don't necessarily have to worry about selling it back or storing all of it in the battery. If you can simply program your electric vehicle charger to charge during peak sunlight hours, and you can time your laundry so that you're running your, your laundry machine and your clothes dryer during peak sunlight hours, same thing with the vacuum cleaner, right? If you, if you can control when you do these certain um, low frequency but high energy intensive activities, if those activities can be shifted into hours when your solar is in highest production, then this is another way that you can maximize self-consumption without necessarily having to purchase extra large battery storage. The nice thing with the battery storage is you, you can consume off the battery any time of day you want, but there's a cost involved. And so one way that you can maximize the payback on your solar investment or, or maximize the direct usage of your excess solar electricity is simply to shift your behavior so that high power draw activities like laundry and cooking and EV charging happen during the time window when the solar panels are gonna be in peak production. So this has been a brief discussion of what to do with excess solar power. Uh, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming up, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and energy storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote and you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and make sure that you're getting the best deal, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can set up a call with a solar expert or just use our free online quote tool so you can find out how much solar and energy storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.